Hi, this is the FM203. This is the uh, twin port station made by Hakko. Uh, in, uh, as you can see, it has uh, two ports, which allows you to use two tools at the same time, um, i.e. an iron and hot tweezers. In this video, I'm going to be focusing more on the hot tweezers. Uh, that's the purpose of the video, to help people out who have purchased these um, hot tweezers. Uh, anyone who's purchased these hot tweezers, I guarantee you they're disappointed with them because they don't seem to get hot enough. And I'm going to show you why. It's not actually the hot tweezers that are the problem. It's, um, it's understanding how these tips work. Here we have the T15 Hacko uh, tip. And if you look carefully, this here, it has a barcode. This barcode tells the machine what temperature to offset the tip to allow it to give accurate temperature. And here we have the tweezers. I'm going to show you the difference between the tips. If you have a look at this tip, it does not have a barcode. And the problem with this means the offset temperature is uh, has to be manually set on the machine. And this allows you to uh, correct the temperature of the tips. And I'm going to show you how to um, sort this out and it will improve these hot tweezers. Right, I'm on the uh, Hakko official website and here we have a chart of all their stations. In this chart it displays all the soldering tips. So under FM203 it has uh, T12, T15 and so forth. Right, down here we have a picture. This is the uh, soldering tip and there's the barcode. This barcode automatically programs the machine's offset temperature. The offset temperature is the actual tip, the actual soldering tip's temperature. And um, as you can see here, it can be manually programmed for um, soldering tips without this barcode. And I believe this is the major problem with these Hakko um, hot tweezers, because when they come out of the factory, they they're not um, they haven't got the barcodes to program the actual station, so yeah. So if we uh, manually set this up, it will correct this problem. So here we have the uh, settings for the uh, how to set this offset temperature. So when the uh, set temperature for channel D is 400, the actual temperature is 410. So the difference is 10 Celsius. So enter minus 10 as the set offset value. So basically you enter a minus offset value if it's uh, too high and you enter a positive um, offset value if it's too low. And in the hot tweezers case, it, uh, the temperature is too low. But the maximum you can enter is 50 Celsius. That's really important. So it's 50 Celsius plus or 50 Celsius minus. And this is how we're going to uh, improve the hot tweezers. Right. This is how you go about setting it. Uh, you need, first things first, you need to uh, make sure you're not on channel S. Because you do not want to uh, change the offset temperature on this channel. You want to make sure you're on channel D, which would be your hot tweezers. Because that's the only channel hot tweezers can run on anyway. Right, you want to turn your hot tweezers on and allow them to reach temperature. I've got them set at the maximum uh, 400, and they're still terrible, so we're going to quit this. Right, so we put it in sleep mode by putting it on the handset, and then you're going to need this card. Once you enter this card, you'll be able to adjust the temperature. You want to go down to 350. See, the maximum temperature is 400. You want to go 50 below maximum temperature. So once you set that, you do that by pressing star. Okay, go back in sleep mode, remove the card, and lift it off the handset to allow it to reach temperature. Right, so that's that done. Right, so we've got the temperature set. Now we put it back on sleep mode. Now you want to enter your card in again. Now you don't want to press star, you want to press the other key. I think this is called the pound key. So you click that button, now you're in the offset temperature uh, settings. Right, so minus is up. 
and then you press uh, up to go positive. So that's how you set positive or minus. Then you want to go to the middle, middle zero, and you want to set 50, because 50 is the maximum, uh, 50 Celsius is the maximum temperature you can go at. So press star, and then star again. Now what this is done, it set the offset temperature for 50 Celsius, which is the maximum. This is 50 positive. So when you lift it off now, and it goes to 350, it's about to reach temperature. Right, it's at 350, but in reality, it's at 400 Celsius, because you've got an offset of 50 positive Celsius. Right, I'll put it back in sleep mode now. Right, so now, say for argument's sake, I'll go up to 360. I'm going to set that as my temperature quickly. Take the key out again. Right, so when I get the off the handset, and it reaches 360 Celsius, it's in reality, it's at 410 Celsius. So you're above the maximum Celsius range now. This is because the offset temperature is wrong. So what you've got to remember is it's always 50 above what you're setting it at. And I do recommend you go up in tens and you uh, reach the temperature you're, you prefer. Yeah, uh, They do say uh, hotter temperatures burn your tips out quicker, but these, this isn't set up properly, so uh, you're correcting a factory mistake. So now, if I go to 400, now it's in sleep mode, in reality, this is actually 450 Celsius. If you wish to be a bit more precise, you can buy a soldering tip uh, temperature uh, thermometer. But to be honest with you, if you go up in tens, you should be able to find your right temperature for these tweezers. And this will highly improve it, so um, yeah. So, uh, if you want to improve your hot tweezers, um, set the offset temperature higher, and then you'll be able to go above the threshold temperature. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more. I hope this helps someone out, and thanks so much for watching.